Guys, listen, I'm talking to you in this video because I hear a lot of times from women how men are just not putting in any effort anymore when it comes to relationships. And I know, I get it, things are easy now. We have all sorts of dating apps, we can just go out and swipe right and hope something happens. But that has come along with its own price. In many ways, relationships are much more unhappy than they were in the past. In fact, they're just not happening at all in the first place. We've got a hookup culture that is fun for a while, but eventually it just gets boring. And that sounds crazy, I know. People are rolling their eyes, they're leaving this video. It sounds insane, especially coming from a guy, but the fact of the matter is real connections are not being made through just hooking up. There's so many more opportunities that happen when we actually put an effort Put an effort to romance, put an effort to dating, put an effort to courtship, put an effort to getting to know someone. And there's a lot of talk, and I've talked about it before in previous videos, about how women are perceived to not want romance anymore, which is just a false assumption by guys, because we feel like if they're doing so well in the world, they're so well in, in their, their socioeconomic status, they're doing so well in their education, why would they need a guy? Well. Sorry to tell you, they don't. They don't need you to buy dinner. They don't need you to pull out the chair. They don't need you to do anything, but they still want you to. They still want you to put in effort. They still want you to step up to the plate. They still want you to be romantic. And a lot of guys ask me, why should I bother? What is the point? Why should I step up to the plate when I can just go to bat at home on my dating apps. Honestly guys, there's so much more fulfillment and connection that comes from actually trying that it can't be explained through a video like this. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. <laughs> but not just my word. Look at all the relationships around you that are happy or not happy. This is where all this comes from. This is how I started talking and writing and coaching on this topic is observing people whether it was my own family or outside my family that were happy in their relationships and looked at what they did, looked at how they approached each other, looked at the communication, the effort, how much they tried for each other. And then I looked at all the people that were not doing any of that, that just wanted the hookup, that just wanted to swipe right. And I looked at their relationships and I looked at their frustrations because you might have some fun for a little while with somebody, a couple weeks, a couple months, and then it's gone. And then what? Then you're back to square one. There's no foundation being built. And women over and over and over again are expressing frustration to me and to everyone else that there's just not guys out there willing to try. I think what we need to do is reconnect with who we want to be and what we want to accomplish in terms of dating and relationships. And if you're watching this and you're 20 years old and the only thing you care about is going out to hook up, then guess what? This video ain't for you. Because I was there and I understand that relationship sounds like purgatory. It sounds like hell. It sounds like what am I going to do when I'm there? But if you've grown beyond that stage of life, if you've experienced those things and understood that that doesn't actually bring you fulfillment and happiness and real joy, then that's who I'm talking to. You are who I'm talking to. And you might be asking yourself, how do I get out of that slump? How do I get out of that hole? How do I move past this life I've built? And it's through putting in more effort, not just in dating, but into yourself. It's through understanding the dynamics of male and female interaction. It's through understanding the deeper psychology of who women are and what they're about. It's understanding the neurological differences between men and women. Because you don't need to understand that to just go and hook up. That's fine. That's easy. That's no problem. That's a cakewalk. But if you want to actually build a real relationship, there's so much more to it. And I'm telling you right now from experience, from listening, from speaking, from all these different things where I interact with people that women are tired. They're tired of this bad boy shtick where there's no substance. They're tired of the same thing over and over again and we need to put in more effort, you guys. And it's a win-win because as you step up to the plate, women will step up to the plate. It's a chicken and the egg scenario. Everybody's tired of getting hurt. I understand. I get it. It's out there. Everybody has felt it. But we need to step up and, and, and understand the depth 
and the structure and the fulfillment and the longevity that comes from being real with someone and actually trying, actually planning a date, actually communicating, actually understanding that we're talking about two different individuals here who are coming from different worlds, different parts of life, different experiences, different backgrounds, and convening together to build something that makes them one. But we can't do that on the surface. We can't do that just through a random right swipe where we match with someone and exchange three different messages and, and then ghost each other doesn't work, doesn't build a foundation, doesn't create anything new. Why do you think everybody's so frustrated? Why do you think this hookup culture is creating so much jaded attitude out there in terms of dating? Why do you think everybody's giving up? <laughs> They're giving up because it's not working. And we assume this is the only way it has to be because it's the only way it's been for us. See, we didn't grow up in our parents' generation or our grandparents' generation. We didn't experience what they experienced. We didn't have the same connection that they had. We didn't feel the same things that they felt because we don't have to. If we want to communicate with somebody, we don't have to send a note. We don't have to call their parents' house and leave a voicemail. We don't have to have someone hoping that we call them back at night because we get access to the phone one time. We just shoot off a message. And then the novelty is gone. The connection is gone. And we're not putting in the extra layers of effort to create it. So the only logical result is that the happiness that comes from that connection is also gone. Because if you lose the foundation, you lose the rest of the house. We're not building the foundation. We're just building the decorative parts of the house. And then the first storm comes along and sweeps it away. And of course, the logical reaction after that is, well, why would I ever build another house? We have to start building foundations again. We have to start creating things that last again. And we only do it through putting in more effort, taking more time. If we start a fire, we stoke the fire over time. If we leave the room for too long, the fire goes out. It's like setting off fireworks. It's beautiful. It's exciting. It's passionate. It's romantic. We capture it on camera a few times. And then, it's over. But if we start a fire and stoke it and stay in the room and continue stoking it, it builds and builds and builds. And most of all, it lasts. But you can't do that without effort. You can't build a building that lasts without effort. You can't build a house that lasts through the storms without effort. You cannot build a fire that lasts without effort. You can't build a relationship that lasts without effort. And this is not for everyone, like I said. If you don't care about this topic, you stopped the video minutes ago. But if you're still here, if you're still watching, believe me, there are people that are waiting for you to step up and put in the work because nobody else has. And anybody else who has pursued anything professionally or personally or anything that takes work understands the people who step up when nobody else will are the people who get the, the rewards that nobody else gets. So, is it gonna be you or the next guy? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.